we're going to continue with our videos in the instrumentation and technologies in mathematics. And here we're going to continue with this um, uh, two, four, six, seventh, okay, on the seventh tool. This seventh tool will mainly talk about conics. And also, if we have time, we're going to continue with the eighth tool, which talks about angles and some um, things here. So let's start with the conics. So how can we create an, an ellipse? Okay, an ellipse. I'm given here in GeoGebra. So you, we may always use the input to write the ellipse, making use of the, the formula. It may be general or specific, but um, if we want to have an original ellipse, we may want to click this. And um, the instruction tells us that we need two foci. Like what was that again? Sorry. We need two foci and then a point in an ellipse. So for instance, if, if I'll put the, the foci here in minus one, um, minus one zero and one zero, I need another point on the ellipse, just like that, as you can see. So these are ellipses. Okay, so if you're going to have some point here, it's going to become a circle, but um, I'll make it an ellipse. Um, I'll put here one point at 0, 1. So this is an ellipse with a formula um, x squared plus y plus y squared equals 2. Rather, x squared plus 2y squared equals 2. So that's an ellipse. Okay, again, we need three points, two foci, and then one point on the ellipse. Next, we'll start, we'll continue with hyperbola. Um, I want to delete this ellipse first. And let's continue with the hyperbola. So in, hi in a hyperbola, we still need two foci and then one point on the hyperbola. So I would want to choose first, again, the same foci on minus one and minus one, zero, and one, zero. And then I want one point on the, on the hyperbola. So if you will just use the cursor to find that other point, it may have this, um, this point here. It may be like this. But you know how, how hyperbolas works, right? So okay. Uh, click this um, another point on minus 2 minus 2 so therefore we'll have this hyperbola over here so if you want you can see that hyperbola there okay so that's how you do a hyperbola or create a hyperbola um, using GeoGebra you need three points still okay two foci and then one point on the hyperbola so I want to delete that um, next I want to create a parabola so how do you create a parabola you need to find the point in the directrix. Take note, a directrix must be a line. So before clicking, if you want to create a, a parabola, you need to make sure that you have a directrix there. So you may want to go back to tool number three and then create a line. It may be a line segment, but I'll choose a line. Um, say I want my directrix to be x equals minus three. So I will do it something like this. So x equals minus three, that's your directrix. And you may now create a parabola. Select a point in the directrix. So I want the point to be here. And then the directrix would be this one. Um, some error, sorry. Um, let me install a point. I want the point to be here at the origin. So I want a parabola. I want a point here and a directrix, which is there. So again, you need to have a line first. I'm sorry. And a point. My goodness, I forgot that. And then you click on the point in the directrix that you want. And then voila, what you'll have is a parabola. Okay, using um, this Conex toolbar. Okay, now uh, there's also there's also a last part where you can create a Conex using five points. Um, it somehow talks about the eccentricity. So let's try. So um, Conex using five points. Um, if you want to create an ellipse, so you may want to do something like this. Okay, it creates an ellipse. Okay, if you're going to move the fifth point going somewhere like this, it may look like a hyperbola it will become a hyperbola something like that as you can see and then it may, it may be a circle there there's one point where it can be a circle but except this one it, it, i think it cannot it cannot be a circle it's gonna be strictly an ellipse so it may look like a hyperbola something like that okay so hyperbola or an ellipse um may, we may want to create a parabola ourselves Say you want to have that, so that's going to become a parabola. There, so it's a parabola. If you want a hyperbola, so we can still also do that. So just do the five things, and then here you go. That's a hyperbola for me. 
Okay? So that's how you mainly use the Conex toolbar. That's the seventh toolbar there. Again, this is this one. Um, by default, what you can see there is the ellipse. Um, don't, um, don't be confused with the circle toolbar. Circle is perfectly circle. The default one is an ellipse, um, highlighting the two foci and then one point on the ellipse. Okay? So let's erase them all, shall we? So let's create a new one. We're going to move on with the angles. Sorry. And I want to delete them. Sorry. Okay. Now let's try the angles. First is, this is the default picture for the angle. Let's try them. Um, you select three points or two lines. So if you want three points, it will look like this. There. So that's the angle given this for this um, line. Imagine this, um, if we're going to create a segment A to B and B to C. So this is the angle given there. So this is angle A. So this is quite the opposite. Anyways, let's do that again. Um, here, starting here, starting there. And then if you want, going to open that. So this is angle Angle DEF is 1, 2, 3 points of any 1 degrees. So if you want to create a segment out of D to E and then E to F, so that's the angle there. All right. Now, that's how you create an angle. It, you may also want, you may also create an angle making, making use of intersecting lines. So say I want to create um, a line segment here and a line segment here. So of course, I can create this angle, get this angle here of G, G, um, GKJ. So I can do that by making use of this. I want to create this line and choose this line. Um, well, it's not that. We can make use of vertical angles actually. So, KJ. And we can also have this. Uh, it's quite, sorry. Okay, so there you go. So you can get this angle, um, gamma. Then you'll have the delta, and then you'll have the epsilon. Depends on your on your need, what angle you need. Okay, let's move on to angle with given size. We will select a leg point, a vertex, and then enter the size. So um, we'll have to select an, a leg point and then a vertex. And what would be the angle that we want? Okay, it can be counterclockwise or clockwise. I would choose clockwise, so that it will go this way. And I want it to be like, you know, 90 degrees clockwise. So let's do something like this. Okay, so if you can imagine, it is from L to M and M to L prime. So therefore, this is a 90 degree angle. I can also make use of, of that. Similarly, if you want a, 40, a 45 degree angle, so I want to still choose that clockwise. So therefore, what you'll have is this. This is um, 90 degrees. So from L to M and M to L, sub, L prime sub 1. So therefore, this is 45 degrees. Okay, so this is very handy, um, especially on your projects in geometry. So I want to make use of this first quadrant. Um, you may also want to get a distance of or the length of, of two points. Okay, um, two points or a segment or a polygon. Um, I think I need to go back there anyways. Say I want to get a distance from C to I here. So I would want to click this and then click here and here. And I'll get a distance as two. And that's I think that's clear, it's clear enough. Because um C is at minus two at X and um I is at um zero at X. So therefore it's two. The two units is the angle or is the distance. Uh, if you want to get a distance from F going to this G, so therefore the distance is seven point thirty nine units. F G. So you can imagine that by making use of this vector from F to G. Therefore, this vector is, um, oops, sorry, that vector is um, 7.39 units. You may also want to get the area, uh, but you need to select a polygon or a circle or a conex. We don't have those. Uh, maybe I can create one. So say, create a polygon, a triangle, shall we say, here. And I can get the area by making choosing this, and then I'll click this one. And the area of the triangle PQR is 5. Okay, so pretty much that's five. That's the area of this triangle. Okay, and then you can do a, a lot of stuff. Say I will want to, I would want to get the the slope. 
of this uh, vector from four f from f to g. So I would want to click on that and then click this line, and the slope is equal to zero. Is this right? Sorry, is the slope zero? Or maybe I just wait. It's just a moment. <laughs> let's let's recreate. Uh, say I want to have a, a real line, and I want to do it from this point from minus four. Uh, minus two minus four to three zero so i would want to get that angle or the slope so i want to click that line so the slope is 0 0.8 there sorry um i think there's an error if you're going to make use of um, vectors so i want i can get the slope of any um part say i want to get the slope of this that's minus one I want to get the slope of this that's um what's that sorry it's being covered and this one so which is minus 16. So I can do a lot of things with this slope thingy. So this is the minus 2.2. Here it is. Okay, and all of uh, these parts are not that um, important though um, for our for our parts. But if you want, uh, we can create lists of selected cells. So uh, if you want to have this relation, so it says the relation of two objects. So I want to choose um, point D and point J. It says that they're not equal. So okay. Um, if I will choose point Q and this polygon triangle, it says that Q lies on the perimeter of T1, and that's triangle 1. Um, if you want to um, click on the relation of L and L prime, um, L and L prime are not equal, but say we have L and um, M, they're also not equal. Um, what else can we do? Maybe I can choose an angle. Oh, sorry. Um, this gamma and this j, uh, gamma and k are not equal. Sorry, I I clicked k. I want to click on the line segment on the on j. Shall we try that? Um, this gamma on j, um, they cannot be compared. Okay, so you can you can just you know experiment that if you really want to know the relationship of these two quantities. Um, function inspe inspector just in inspects the function. Say I want to click on this, or maybe I misclicked it. Anyways, um, these parts are not that so important unless you want to really dive into mechanics and engineering and making use of ge of geogebra. So um, the list that I have given, maybe the tutorials are enough for this video for now. Um, I hope you learned something from this. Again, we learned for today the conics and also the angles okay and, and i mean this eighth toolbar or tools so that's it for this video thank you very much for watching i hope you would like this and subscribe and also share this with your classmates so thank you very much